Thompson has you know, 70 years of application experience using ball screws, lead screws, and trying to pick the, the right product for the right solution. The ball screw and lead screw, it can be used in the same applications in many, many instances. The advantages of a ball screw is mainly the efficiency and the predictable life of a ball screw. Typically we see a ball screw used in industries that need a lot of load or a lot of life and they're moving heavy uh, either parts or product. For the lead screw, uh, it's a smaller, lighter duty application product. It's highly customizable. You can uh, you know, change leads and sizes and ball nut configurations very quickly and easily, and that's not the case with ball screws. So it works itself very handily for an OEM application that's trying to integrate a product into their machine and be unique. And a lot of people think of a, a lead screw as a low-cost alternative, and they're going only on cost. Uh, cost is, you know, obviously very important to many customers, but it's not the most critical component. First test we're going to do is just to show the, the difference between a ball screw and a lead screw and how quiet and smooth the operation is. And we'll run through quickly a little bit of what makes up each product. Typically a ball screw made up of three or four different components. Again, you obviously got your screw, a nut, and the difference between a ball screw and lead screw is just the recirculation system. Obviously we have ball bearings in a ball screw and then it depends on how you design it, whether those ball bearings are circulated inside the nut or externally. This is an inch style ball screw and it's got an external return system. The balls actually come outside of the nut before they go back in. And the difference between this obviously it makes a little bit more noise since this one's not a preloaded system. It's not quite as smooth or accurate as what you find in a preloaded system. On a lead screw, you can tell the difference in noise. Basically there is none. Very smooth, very clean motion, very quiet. Okay, this screw is a lead screw, very uh, small lead, very fine lead. It's about a point one. And again, no matter what I do, I can't push on this nut and cause it to back drive it out. And what I mean by that is when you put a high lead version on it, it's very easy to push on the nut and back drive it out. And again, you can see how smooth and quiet a lead screw is. Lead screw has definite advantages for many applications. Uh, it's smooth, quiet, clean, uh, self-lubricating, um, corrosion resistance. Uh, so again, properly designed a lead screw can be a very good product in many applications. The nice thing about Thompson is that we do have uh, a lot of years of experience both in ball screws and lead screws and we are here as the experts to help just you know help machine builders design the optimal product into their machine and be that a lead screw or a ball screw it doesn't matter to me as the engineer I want to put the correct product in the customer's machine and allow them to get the most benefit uh, of that product. 